Good day guys, it's been uh, some time since I've last posted a video. Thought I'd put one out today. Let you know uh, what I've been doing and what's been going on. So, as you can see here, I'm at uh, Fourth Hill, Gold Memorial Road, uh, Anderson Creek in Warrandyte. As the sign says, no prospecting beyond the orange markers and prospecting in the creek bed only. So that's what I'll be doing. So there's been some questions about running a high banker in this creek. Look, if I was running a petrol pump, I'd maybe not run a high banker. Most of the time I'm actually down here, I'm testing the equipment. So I'm not, um, you know, doing big long day digs like if I was going somewhere else to get some decent gold. Here's more about getting out, having a little bit of fun and uh, just testing the equipment. So, I've got a uh, 3,700 gallon an hour pump, just sitting in a gold pan, rock on top just to hold it in place, 40 mil outlet on that, so 40 mil hose running to my spray bar. Um, it's 40 mil all the way until it gets down to here. And that's the first reducer, that's the second reducer, 25 mil on both sides. You want to be able to keep some pressure in those pipes, but you don't want to restrict it too much. Um, so I wait to right at the end before I restrict it back down. Uh, there's holes every 10 mil on both sides. We'll see how it goes. I haven't actually used this in the creek yet, so we'll see how it goes today. That's what this is about. Uh, this is the 8 inch Gold Rat High Banker. Um, this is one of the spray bar options. You can have a single bar run straight across through the holes through here. Where what I've done is taken the back plate off here so that I can run my spray bar. I use these clips because they're damn good. Um, they're a conduit clip. 32 mil fit perfectly onto these bars um, But a little bit about the high banker It's got a crash pad with miners moss just here. I'd say about 60% of my gold gets caught there uh, Just the punch plate Thing that I've changed under here is I've put some uh, Bunnings miners moss which is the Bunnings doormat that I've cut and fitted in there. About 35% of the gold gets caught there. And the eight inch uh, dream mat, I'd say about 5% in the runs that I've done with this, haven't run it too much, um, gets caught in there. So technically, you know, if you're happy to lose 5% of your gold, chop it off about here where my foot is and don't even run the mat. But, you know, that's in the test so far anyway. At the end, I've always put a pan at the end when I've run it recent times. Um, running at 8 degrees and it's been fine. I haven't lost uh, anything if maybe one little tiny micro bit of gold. So I'll fire this thing up and we'll see how she runs. And uh, hopefully in the three buckets I've got there, they're unscreened buckets, they're dug straight out of the creek. Um, we'll get some colour. Alright, here she is uh, running. Spray bars are about in the middle, or where they're aimed. That'll obviously change a little bit once the water goes. At the moment what's happening is the water's spraying in the middle, but you can see most of it is coming through there. By the time it hits the uh, plate that sends it to the back, it's fine, getting a decent flow through the mat. What I'll do is um, just get a little bit of dirt and see how she goes when I drop her in. So, I tend to run the hopper at the lowest setting as well. 
You can run it up the top, but you want to make sure those rocks are getting washed rather than being in there for a few seconds and rolling out the end. Um, no point digging if you're not going to clean everything off properly. I'll uh, run a few of these buckets and we'll see uh, what happens. Alright, three buckets down. Cells are uh, clearing off nicely. So just the heavies stuck in um, the actual little cells. A few little bits to build up in there. But that's to be expected. Um, I'll turn this thing off. I'll have a bit better look and see if um, we can spot any gold. Um, you know, what did I have? Maybe 30 litres of unclassified uh, dirt. Alright. Have a look in the top here. I'm uh, not seeing any gold. And just sometimes, just here in the punch plate, get some gold in there, but not seeing there, any there either. I'll have a look at the mat. Um, now look, it's going to be pretty hard to spot if there is, but I don't think oh, I can see anything that's anything big anyway. Um, I'll take this first mat out. We'll have a look and see uh, if we've got any colour. Alright, so there's a little bit of muck and gunk that got caught under there. I'll do that at the end by itself when I just wash the whole uh, high banker down. So, pro tip of the day when you're uh, cleaning out your high banker, always have a pan and pan into another pan. Um, you'll be surprised how much fine gold you may uh, miss when you're quickly trying to reveal all that colour. I'll pan this out, no point you guys watching me do this. Just a bit boring. But um, always have your pan, pan into the pan, then, you know, sometimes you might need to pan two or three times, if not four, depending on the ground and how much black sand and stuff's there. So I'll pan this out, we'll see what happens. Alright, so pan that out. Got a uh, few bits of colour there, that's not too bad. I'll uh, now do the um, little Bunnings mat that's at the bottom of this hide banker and we'll see what comes out of there. Alright, pull the uh, little mat out the bottom and got some, a few more specks, nothing big, pretty small. As uh, some are calling these things, um, the ones you probably can't see. Vegas nuggets, but um, not even going to bother doing the mat. I'm going to uh, flush that uh, all out, reset these two mats in. Just have a little quick dig just here with these new fresh uh, flood gravels and uh, see if we can get some colour. All right, guys, um, just packing up. All the high bank is gone. As you can see, a little bit of tailings there, the little fine stuff, and then tailings there. That will just be uh, filling in um, the creek a little bit where people have dug behind this uh, bedrock, trying to get a bit of colour. Um, as I said, today was more testing that spray bar and it's okay. I'm um, going to try a couple other different things, different combinations, and see how it goes. Looks like uh, the weather's going to turn dirty. Might go for a little wonder if it doesn't start pouring, but it, I don't know if you can hear, you can probably see it now, hitting the creek. It's been uh, looking that way all day like it's going to rain. 
just grab the last of my stuff and um, head home. Um, you might be asking why the 8 inch, why have you gone away from the 6? Look, even though it's only 2 inches wider, um, the mat's slightly different. I've always liked that original cell dream mat. Um, and those two inches, what they actually give you in uh, performance and the, the ability to move ground is, I'd say, easily double. Still can keep it pretty light with some lightweight lithium batteries. Like if I had a couple of those, I'd get close to, you know, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours for me digging in a creek is plenty in a day. Um, especially if it's easy sort of ground digging. You can just dig and dig and dig. Move quite a bit of ground pretty quickly and get yourself some nice colour. Um, and... Personally, I think that uh, the little six inch is um, screaming and probably deserves a, uh, a map very similar to that one. Maybe, maybe the same as the eight in the sense that having the four cells going across it, slightly smaller. Um, you know, there's enough people out there that would probably... Uh, Purchase something like that. Um, especially the way I run it with the 2200 or two, um, 1100 bilge pumps. Oh, I'm done. Having a little fun for today. Time to uh, head home. As you can see, I've left the area pretty much undisturbed. You wouldn't even know I was there. All right, I'm going for a little walk, just down to a little spot where I've got some big nuggets and um, see if uh, that's been dug out.